Whenever I do one of these mod showcases, I always get asked the same question. Nino, I want to get into Stardew modding, but I just don't know where to start. Well, don't worry because I have you covered. As today, we're going to be looking at mods that I think are must have for your first modded Stardew Valley playthrough that will make escaping the horrors of the real world into your small little virtual farm so much easier. Today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna break the video into three different categories. To begin with, we're gonna look at the basic mods, more your quality of life sort of mods that just kind of help in general with the game. Number two, we're gonna look at aesthetic mods, personally my favorite. And in the third part, we're gonna look at world expansion mods. Like most Stardew Valley players, on your first playthrough, let's be completely real, playing Stardew Valley consists of 70% looking at your other screen screen to check on the wiki and actually 30% playing the game because there is so much to this. So I thought, hey, what if you didn't need to look at the wiki? What if you could just have everything at your fingertips in the game? Well, thank you, modder, because the first mod that we have today is the look up anything mod. This mod changes the game. Well, if we go up to my beautiful wife, hey, Oh my god, I almost called her Haley. Oh my god, I hope she didn't hear that. There's been a few relationship issues, we'll say that. If we go up to my beautiful, lovely wife, Abigail, and we press F1, we can see all the details we need about her. Everything she likes, her love gifts, neutral gifts. It doesn't show dislike gifts. That's quite interesting. I thought it would. If we've talked to her today, which we haven't, if we've kissed her today, I don't know if I've kissed her for all season, to be honest with you. It works on the my baby talk to today. No, uh, don't worry about that. I think my favorite part about this is if you go up to your like chickens or anything, and if you press F1 on them, it tells you the amount of points that you have until they're the next level with you. God, that's so useful. <laughs> but I know what you're thinking. But Nino, it's called the look everything up mod, not click on everything mod. Oh yeah, like they didn't think about this? Look, boom, shift F1, you can look everything up. Look at that. Wait, dating? You didn't see that. The next mod I recommend for your first modded playthrough has to be the tractor mod. The Nino loyalists out there will know I've actually used this mod in a past playthrough because I used it to plant 10,000 seeds of my beautiful wife, Abigail. Jesus Christ, it's expensive. 20 iron bars, five iridium, five battery packs. Well, uh, okay, let's include some other mods in this. I wasn't gonna include this in the showcase, but I guess we can throw it in there. It's just a cheats mod. You can spawn in anything. I'm not one to judge if you use these. It's the CJB item spawner and CJB cheats menu, which honestly, best aspect of it, you can change your movement speed so you don't just like walk everywhere. I wonder how long this will take Robin to build. Oh, she's still building. We'll get, we'll get back to her. In the meantime, the next quality of life mod that I think is so important. I literally, I stand by this mod because I've had it for so long and I think it's, it's a must have is the pony weight loss program mod. Because for some reason, when you're going around Stardew Valley, your horse is actually wider than some of the areas you can get through in Pelican Town. And all this mod does is make your pony smaller so the pony can fit through gaps. Whoa, the tractor's built. Look at that. Now we've got our own little tractor shed. Have you ever wanted to be a real farmer? Now you can drive around the little tractor. It's not just transport, I promise you. It's not just a horse replacement. If we go to the Iridium hoe, and I'm not just talking about my wife, I think we can... Oh, how do I... Hang on. Oh, there we go. There we go, you just have to move. My main one that I used it for, and what I think is the most useful, is you can cut down trees. Quick fire rounds for the quality of life mods. First one, save anywhere mod. Boom, it's in the name. You can save anywhere. Look at that. Next one, NPC locations. Puts the locations of every single NPC on the map. Look at Sandy hanging out in the desert up there. Next one, to-do list. Not only does this have the best name out of all the mods we're looking at today, it's also arguably the most useful. This one just allows you to... Now I know exactly what I want to get through today. When I'm playing Stardew Valley, if I don't have a list of what I'm doing, I just don't play the game and I kind of just wander around everywhere. Last mod, possibly the best mod that I can show you today. Healy's mod adds Healy's to the game. 
I don't know what more you want. Okay, so the next batch we're gonna be looking at is the aesthetic mods. It's like mods you want when you wanna spice up the Stardew Valley look. The first mod we're gonna be looking at, you might have seen before because I've used it in a lot of videos, is the seasonal outfits mod, which changes all the NPCs in Stardew Valley to have seasonal changing outfits on both their sprites and their portraits. Look at Abigail here. She's so cute. Don't tell Haley I said that. I think what I like about this mod is that it keeps them in line with the actual Stardew Valley art style. So if we go to Kent here, it looks like Ken, but kind of sexier. She's so cute. I haven't seen her summer outfit outfits before. That's adorable. I think every villager has about eight different portraits they have at any given time. So if we just... <laughs> <clears throat> go to winter real quick. Abigail should be standing there in her cute little winter outfit. Oh my god, she's so cute. You need this mod. What? She's got a little cat ear beanie. Vincent, what do you look like? Oh, he looks like a little British paper boy, isn't it? Oi, mister, can I have a pound, yeah? No, I won't pickpocket you, mister. I just want a pound, promise. A visit to the saloon should warm me up, don't you think? Look how cute she looks. Robin, what do you look like? My parent... If that's not convincing you to get this mod, I don't know what is. Should we go see what they look like at other festivals? Oh, Marnie's... F Fiona from Shrek? Leah, what are you? Robin Hood? Oh my god, Leah, call me the rich because you're stealing my heart. Emily's a clown? Weirdly fitting. Maybe it's not just the villagers that you want to have seasonal outfits. Maybe it's... It's the worst intro to a mod I've ever heard. This is the L seasonal buildings mod, okay? It's it's a good mod that adds brand spanking new designs to all of your farmhouse buildings, okay? This is the full skin for your farmhouse. And every season it changes. I think it is so adorable. It's so like matchy matchy. Look at the horse house. So the biggest thing that stood out to me about this mod was the amount of configurations that it came with. We can go for an earthy look if we want. Look at that! Oh my god, you can actually go for the cottage core look. And for some reason our chicken coop is pink now. Oh wow, all the storage containers have changed to match. The ability to change what your aesthetic is on the farm is really the benefit of this mod. I don't have the best farm design skills in the world, but the elevation that mods like this give the look of your farm really means you don't actually have to have the best look. What is a lodge style with a black look? It's certainly something. I, I, I mean, it just might be that I'm not the greatest with coming up with things, but it's definitely a look. The next three mods is for the cottage core girlies out there. The next three mods we have are called the Medieval Stardew Valley mod, the Wildflower Grassfield mod, and the Wayback Pelican Town mod. And the first one, the medieval Stardew Valley, turns all of your farmhouses and farm buildings into these Tudor style old England village cottages. And it's so cute. Look at these. Look at this barn. Do you not feel like you're in a Disney fairy tale? Wait, what does the big barn that I have down the bottom look like? There's a little bit of garbage on the floor, but it's fine because look at the size of that. Oh my God, that meteor almost killed all my pigs. When it's in winter, it genuinely feels like I just want to sit here with a hot chocolate and sit inside my house. What does it look like in spring? Are you serious? Wow, it really is a fairy tale. We got a witch. This is gorgeous. Put this alongside a recoloring mod that you can find. You've got an entirely different aesthetic for Stardew Valley. And to go along with the redesign of the buildings is the Wild of Flowers mod. I kind of wanted to plant them to show you guys what it looks like, but you're getting a little bit of a look here. It turns the grass in Stardew Valley into like blossom, into flower fields. Suddenly the grass isn't the ugliest part of this game. It turns it into an actual aesthetic. I just want, I'm just gonna put these everywhere. Like, look at that change. Like, I just wanna lay in this with Haley. The next mod we have is a companion mod to the other two, so that it's not just your farm that has the cottage core feel, it's actually the entire village. Because the next mod we have is the way back Pelican Town mod. 
it turns the entire village into like this medieval town. It is, it's, it's, it's so cute. Seeing this, now I actually want to visit Marnie. Oh my God, she's living the cottage core dream. God, I wish I was me living in there. Wait, what does the rest of the town look like? It's like a fairy tale. It's like you're walking through Skyrim. Evelyn's house has vines going off of it. Pierre's house doesn't fill me with dread. What does the Joji Mart look like? Oh, it's not a Joji Mart anymore. That's right. It's a theater. I finished the community center. It's like a Shakespearean theater. <laughs> Somehow Spam still lives in a trailer park. Ye old trailer trash. <laughs> Look at this community center. I want to sit on this deck and drink a coffee and read a book. Well, should we go see what the desert looks like? Is there a cottagecore desert? Oh, kind of. It's kind of a cottagecore desert. And I like that the bus is just a traveling car. I'm not a cottagecore boy myself, but I know a lot of you out there are. And if you're looking for a starting point for cottagecore aesthetics, or even just honestly, even just cozy aesthetics, I think these mods are the perfect starting point. This next mod is called the Cuter Fatter Animal Mods, and it does exactly what you think it does because it turns all the animals into cuter, fatter, adult versions of themselves. Look at this fucking dinosaur, dude. Why is he so chunky? Look at this chicken. Look at the bunnies. <laughs> look at the way they run. They're just shapes. What do the pigs look like? Oh my God, let's go see what the pigs and, and cows look like. They're so circular. All right, what do the cows and the pigs look like? Oh my God, what is that? Why are they walking like that? Dude, look at this pig. It looks like Waddles from Gravity Falls. That's what the sheep look like. It's literally just a walk cloud this is this is um this is overwhelmingly cute okay the next mods we're going to be looking at are kind of like world expansion mods i guess you could also call them immersion mods god look my look at the speed my kid's going holy shit but these mods are ones that really expand the characters and the world of stardew valley some of them they literally expand the world but the first one we're going to be looking at is called the stardew valley canon friendly dialogue expansion i believe this adds 2600 new pieces of dialogue to the game. 26 Hundred. Wait, why does my farm look like this now? Did my farm go through puberty? Why is it all different? I guess the recolor worked. God damn, this is beautiful. Oh my god, I'm such a cottage core fairy core boy. Haley, my queen, what do you used to say to me? I need a mall. Online shopping just isn't cutting it for me. Is that you? I don't remember that dialogue and I talk to Haley a lot. I want to try things on. That isn't too much to ask for, right? Emily, your sister's saying new things. I like making my own clothes, but it's not, e not easy to get cloth. Wow, you're still the same old boring Emily. So many I said that won't even get, get to see their families again. Well, that was depressing. Thanks, Kent. Please don't bring me any spring flowers. Sam's terribly allergic. He had a deathly serious allergy at once. Hope he enjoys that gift. What does old Sebastian say? Oh, he's not here. Well, that's okay because we can just use our lovely NPC location map to find out that he is not around. Where is he? What? He died? Am I blind? I don't see him on the map. Oh, he's behind Sam. You don't smoke, do you? No problem, it's all good. Is that new? I don't think he's ever said that to me. Stardew fans will know that the first time you play Stardew Valley is such a special feeling when you're thrown deep into this world. I think these mods allow you to recapture that feeling. Okay, the next mod we have is called Ali's Town Animals mod, and it adds a bunch of animals to the base game. Here, here, this, is, this is what, I'll read them out to you, okay? This is only some. 42 butterflies, 18 town birds, 20 theater birds, two seagulls, two crows, two owls, four birds, two woodpeckers, 10 parrots, six squirrels, three dogs, 12 rabbits, a replacement for the traveling merch peg, a replacement for the camel, two trash bears, six hat mouses, and a new secret woods bear. Yeah, there's a few new animals in the game with this mod. Wait, look at them. Oh, wait, these perfectly work with the re-textured colors too. Look at that one. That's so adorable. Let's see if we can find some birds. Oh, look how chunky they are. Is that a sparrow? Off he goes. Wait, what do the animals on Ginger Island look like? Look at that little fella. How the hell is he putting his toes in there? Wait, they're swimming. How are you swimming in lava, you little monkey fellas? He found his 
friends. The next one that we have is called the Hot Spring Farm Cave mod. What? That's a cool extension. Oh, wow. This is pretty. Is this? Oh, no. There's a ladder. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, my God. This little steam pile there. I'm in my bikini. Wait, how did I do that? Oh, I just want to sit here and sleep. This is so peaceful. This feels like the cherry on top for the cottage core mods that we were looking through before. Is that it? I'm just in my bikini now. Marnie, am I? Oh, Jesus, Jess, don't look. The last mod we have today. Believe me when I say I have saved the best for last. If you want the ultimate modded Stardew experience, one that changes the game in a ways that I haven't seen another mod do, one that stands head and shoulders above any other mod that I've seen and yet is somehow compatible with almost every mod I've showed today, the ultimate Stardew Valley mod for your first playthrough. I am of course talking about the Demetrius turned into Megamind mod. <laughs> you could also try out Stardew Valley Expanded. 